In this video, I will explain about SAP architecture. So what is SAP architecture? Generally, any software will have some fundamental rules and relations and some fundamental characteristics within the software. That means how it will work and uh, how it will give a user to interact with and how the work will be done by the processes and uh, how it will utilize the hardware or software which are available okay to understand this SAP architecture it is better to read the SAP official certification material I will read that unit and uh, I'll explain one by one so let us open that document that is SAP Tech. This is latest one available with me right now. So in this, the system core, this is the third unit. See if you read this unit, you will understand about SAP architecture fully. Okay, in this unit, you have three lessons. Those are principal architecture of the SAP Netware application server and uh, AS ABAP processes and AS Java processes. Okay, if you can read the entire unit, it will be better. Okay, I will explain one by one by going through the first lesson that is system core, that is uh, principal architecture of the SAP Netweaver application server. Okay, the lesson objectives are outline simple client server configurations. That means what is client and what is server in hardware oriented view and software oriented view. And name the processes of the SAP Netweaver application server. What are all the processes available within the SAP Netweaver application server? So don't confuse by the name of SAP Netweaver application server. It is Entirely it is called SAP system. SAP system is built on the Netweaver foundation. That is Netweaver is a technical foundation for all SAP applications. Okay, when you have this SAP Netweaver application, on top of it, you can have remaining all other applications that is business applications. Like for suppose if you have ECC system, you have Netweaver application server and top of it different types of applications like PICO, SD, MM, HR, PP, plant maintenance, PM like that. So you can have any number of applications on top of SAP Netweaver application server. And define the term instance. What is the meaning of instance? what is instance and recognize the characteristics of a central instance what is central instance what is the central instance within the SAP systems so each SAP system will have the central instance concept okay you will understand thoroughly about what is instance and what is central instance what is dialogue instance so all about instances you will understand fully okay here there is an introduction SAP systems are used for mapping business processes or business applications. SAP systems generally SAP software is used for mapping business processes. Each and every business will have some processes involved, isn't it? Like if some customer asked for a quotation, somebody should prepare a quotation and the quotation should be sent to the customer and before Preparing quotation, you should have the material list and price list. Okay, so all these can be done either manually or with the help of software. So SAP software can be used for that particular purpose here. So before using the SAP system for that particular purpose, for suppose generating quotations, you have to map that particular business process into the SAP system then 
SAP users can use the software to generate quotations at very easy way. Okay, so that is the meaning of first sentence that is SAP systems are used for mapping business processes or business applications. And these applications should be implemented independent of the hardware environment used. All these applications should be implemented independent of the hardware environment used. Whatever the computer you are using, like whatever the hardware, whatever the server you are using, or operating system, database, anything can be used for installing and using these applications to the greatest extent possible. And to do so, for performing this particular operation, SAP NetWeaver provides two different runtime environments. Those are ABAP runtime environment and Java runtime environment. ABAP run runtime environment is called as AS ABAP. AS means application server ABAP. ABAP is a programming language. So SAP generally uses ABAP language for developing their applications so that you should have this runtime environment to run the applications which are developed in ABAP. And also SAP is using Java for developing Java applications. Some of the applications are developed in Java. To run those applications, you should have AS Java. AS Java means application server Java. So that the SAP NetWeaver application server, that is SAP NetWeaver provides two different runtime environments. One is ABAP runtime environment. Second is Java runtime environment. Okay. And next, here regarding ABAP, it is explained. What is ABAP? Advanced Business Application Programming. Advanced Business Application. It is a business application programming. The programming is done for the business application generation. That means developers will develop the business applications. It is a programming language developed by SAP. So who has developed? It is developed by the SAP. Many business applications of an SAP system are written in ABAP. Many business applications, most of the business applications of an SAP system are written in ABAP. Using ABAP code, the business applications are written. Okay, ABAP has been optimized for developing highly scalable business applications. Highly scalable applications means you can add, you can add any number of applications to existing SAP system. So in that way, the program is designed. So for that purpose, ABAP is used, that is optimized, means ABAP will be used for developing highly scalable business applications and customers can use ABAP workbench. ABAP workbench is the area for developing completely new applications as well as enhancing and modifying SAP standard applications. This ABAP workbench can be used for developing new applications. You can develop new applications. You can means not you. You are a basis administrator. That's why you are not supposed to develop applications. If you want to become a bapper, that means you are a programmer, that is developer, can use this ABAP workbench for developing completely new applications. Also, enhancing and modifying SAP standard applications means you can improve the performance of a particular program which is already developed by SAP, that is SAP standard application. Okay, you can enhance or modify. You can also modify the existing program using this ABAP workbench. And in doing so, the entire mighty infrastructure of the AS ABAP can be used. So AS ABAP is a application server ABAP will be used for performing this type of activities that is developing uh, programs, ABAP programs and which also supports the creation of the most complex applications, very big applications by large group of developers. Like if you want to develop very large application that cannot be developed by a single person. So many developers are involved into the project that is ABAPers are involved into the project. 
so they can interact with each other and they can develop highly complex applications with this environment ABAP environment and the application server ABAP provides the runtime environment for programs written in ABAP that means once the development is over same that is ABAP runtime environment will be used for running the application means executing the applications okay and next SAP not only provides a runtime environment for ABAP programs but also a runtime environment for Java programs not only SAP is developing applications using ABAP it also develops the Java programs okay AS Java is an application server according to the Java 2 enterprise edition standard so Java 2 enterprise edition is a standard based on the standard all AS Java applications are developed okay the Java programming language was first introduced by Sun Microsystems Inc. 19, in 1995 Java programming language was first introduced by the Sun Microsystems it is a company they have develop, developed this Java programming language and Java is an object oriented and platform independent programming language that has spread across many years okay Java is a programming language it is object oriented and platform independent of programming language that has spread across many years many areas okay it is object oriented and platform independent that means it can be used in any type of platform like intel machines or uh, spark machines or mac macintosh any 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 platform you can use the java program java language for developing java applications okay the java concept enables the development of a large range of different application types from classical applications to applets used in websites to client server applications means it can be used for developing highly complex applications or also can be used for developing small applets which are used in different types of websites also it can be used to develop client server applications means application can be accessed from the clients once the application is developed and hosted on server it can be accessed from the client that is the concept of client server concept we are going to discuss about this client server concept in next video okay so just don't worry about this client server applications as of now okay next java 2 platform enterprise edition is a vendor standard for a whole range of software components that are primarily created in the java programming language java 2 platform enterprise edition j2ee is a vendor standard that is sun microsystems standard sun uses j2ee compatibility test to ensure the specifications of java 2 enterprise edition are reached that means java 2 enterprise edition that particular company that vendor ha have implemented some specifications some characteristics and uh, kept it as a standard so if anybody is developing java program they have to follow those standards okay so that can be checked by the j2ee compatibility test once it is checked and passed the test is passed so it is a compatible j2ee compatible program okay so that type of programs should be developed by the java developers okay that is the meaning of java 2 platform enterprise edition standard that is j2ee standard and the purpose of this specification is to provide a generally accepted framework for using modular components to develop distributed multi-level applications okay this standard specification is to provide a generally accepted everybody should accept that framework for using modular components modules to develop distributed multi-level applications with the J2EE specification, Sun wants to ensure, Sun, Sun Microsystems wants to ensure that uh, conforming web applications run on all J2EE compatible servers. According to the J2EE specification, the application logic is packaged in Enterprise Java Beans. All those applications are packaged into Java Beans, EJB. They represent Java program components. A container implicitly provides the components with the services of the runtime environment. I think, I hope you understood what is the J2EE specification and uh, SAP uses AS ABAP and AS Java runtime environment for developing and running different types of application. 
so sap has used both types of languages that is abap and java for developing their applications and running the applications okay i hope you understood uh, the theory behind this sap introduction introduction about the sap system so let us discuss about client server configuration that is client server terminology definition in next video thanks for watching this video